This Saturday, King Charles will be the 40th British monarch to be crowned here at Westminster Abbey. The first was William the Conqueror almost a thousand years ago. The ceremony will be steeped in history, but it also has many questioning the future of the royal institution. Do you feel there's a future for the monarchy? Yes, definitely. Without a doubt. 100%. For others, though, the answer is quite the opposite. Not Protesters with the anti-monarchist group Republic have been showing up regularly at the King's public engagements. They're calling for the monarchy to be replaced with an elected head of state. It is an ongoing debate. Lots of people love the monarchy and a lot of the reasons that people come to the UK is to see the monarchy. You know, the coronation's costing 250 million. Um, the justification is that it's going to bring a billion dollars into the economy. Whether that's justification when half the country can't afford to eat and are eating in food banks right now, I don't know. Polls in Britain indicate a sense of apathy to the monarchy is growing. The death of Queen Elizabeth, who was widely respected for her 70 years of service, has prompted a conversation about the monarchy's relevance. Scandals haven't helped, nor has the rift in the family. There is also the painful issue of colonization and reparation. King Charles has intimated that he wants to have a dialogue with respect to um, reparation for the descendants of slavery. And you know, I think he should be lauded for that. But I do hope that we have some sort of meaningful discussion regarding reparation. And this is not just a bunch of platitudes. Opinions on the king vary depending on the generation. He's a very good man, a very kind man, and a very generous man. Having him as a king, he doesn't represent everyone. I feel like he doesn't care for everyone as much. Do you think he represents you? No, not at all. Because he's up in houses like this, um, living his own life, in his own bubble. We don't grow up in a rich area, so it's different for us. These students are on a class trip. Their school is 40 minutes away from London by transit. Yep. Does anybody here think there's a future for the monarchy and that it's relevant? Anyone? I don't think it's relevant anymore. No. No. It raises the question, if these teenagers are the future, what then is the future of the monarchy? Of course, there is also debate in Canada about whether King Charles should remain on as its head of state. A recent poll suggests the majority of Canadians say no. However, severing ties with the monarchy is highly unlikely. The Constitution would have to be reopened. No politician seems to have an appetite for that. In London, Cynthia Mulligan, City News.